obesity is without a doubt the fastest growing non-communicable disease on the planet. And that's not okay because we know there's many, many comorbidities that come from that because excess adipose tissue creates inflammation signaling through what's called the adipokines. And we've all heard of the cytokine storm of, you know, speaking of this current time frame, COVID, everybody understands that. Mm. Um, excess adipose tissue is also uh, not just inflammatory, but it's from a kinetic standpoint, it creates pressure on our joints, knees, et cetera. So we end up getting joint pain and joint uh, degeneration. Further, adipose tissue holds toxins because most toxins that we face in our world, and we live in a toxic world, they are called lipophilic substances, meaning they love fat and they get stuck there. So it's like this, this whole milieu of potential problems. It all began when we specifically an American, yes, I'm an American, yes, I'm in the U.S. right now as I speak to you, but when the American uh, system started employing their control over what people ate and developed the food pyramid that was suggesting 6 to 11 servings of breads and grains, and fats became bad, sugars became, we don't talk about those, and now breads and grains became the norm, processed food became something that was funded and subsidized by our own government. And all that went out and it became what is known now as the standard American Western diet. And it was exported around the world after it was absolutely mastered in the U.S. In the U.S. at that time, when that food pyramid was installed, there was one state, and in the U.S. we have 50 states, there was one state that had an obesity rate over 10%, just one at the time. In 11 years, it took just that long for every state with the exception of one to go beyond 10%. And that was back in the 80s, late 80s. It is predicted right now that by 2050, 100% of the U.S. population will be obese based upon BMI. And right now, there's several states, including my own, which is Oklahoma, that have an obesity rate greater than 50%. That is not okay. Oh. And that has been exported yeah. around the world. And it is killing more people than we want to deem appropriate. And frankly, um, I don't think it's okay for us to gloss over that that thing that is crushing people for the sake of convenience. Yeah, I realize there's subsidization going on about it. I realize there's big money involved. But if we don't stop it, we're all going to just crush our our health. And you can work all your life. Christian, and you can make all kinds of money. But if you don't have your health, what do you have? You, you just wasted all that time. And so yeah. we need to tackle this thing called obesity head on. And it's got to start with individual people like you and me. We got to say, not in my home, not in my life. And we must understand that many people may not support that. And it's okay. But leaders don't wait on someone to follow them. Leaders lead with the intent that people will follow. And if they don't, they still lead. And that's what we need right now in the world to address this, because it is a major, major problem. <music> 